The main criteria for picking cast for us was we were looking for people who possibly looked something like the factual person. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of impressed at how well we've actually done with some of them. The most difficult thing for the actors was first to learn about because they're, they're playing a, a, a real person, so they, they, they had to learn a little bit more about the, how the, who that person was. And they, they, I think all of them did very good their homework. They were saying to the director, yeah, but I read about that he did this or that, you know, so we, everybody added something extra to the film, which was nice. We saw for the first time the man who acted uh, <clears throat> General MacArthur, and he was a bit different from in his uh, in his looks than the real MacArthur, but a fantastic actor. So you always look at at, at fantastic acting, and you should forget the look-alike. I look nothing like MacArthur. I don't look like Douglas MacArthur. Douglas MacArthur, I think, he was six foot two and a half, six foot three. Weighed about 235 pounds. I'm 5'10 and a half, and I weigh 265 pounds. But uh, I, I hope and I think I got a little more of a sense of humanity in him. MacArthur was a bit of an egomaniac, um, slightly, more than slightly, control freak uh, with power aspirations. And he also had, like I said, the aspirations to be president of the United States. So I wanted to look at create the person that was looking forward rather than the person that was trying to defend his past. And uh, I liked what I did. The aim of us was finding in, in a unique characters and we found them. The only one that looks maybe a bit, although a bit younger, was Irfan Khan who played uh, Judge Powell. He looked a bit like, uh, like uh, the real um, Judge Powell. Or maybe he was not as tall as me, uh, but you know, he was called as a handsome man. But it's not so important, you know, it's the what, what was he as a person and what he did in the trial is important. But uh, coincidentally, I, I do have, uh, you know, a resemblance with him. Irfan Khan, he found, he was very personal, uh, concerned about his role because this Judge Pell is an important historical figure and so, so he felt very, very much responsible for that role. His intention was very, very interesting and that's what made me interested in, in, in this man and also in this series. When we saw Webb all the time, we thought he is almost a real Webb. Although, if you put the pictures beside this, they are very different, but more and more we thought this is the real Webb. So this is because of good acting. My grandfather, who was Deputy Premier of Queensland, actually knew William Webb. So there was a sort of family connection. I read up a little bit about him, opinion about him. He was meant to be a very quiet man, but very, very firm. And he could be quite intimidating, even with that funny Australian accent. We thought Rowling, the Dutch judge, had a very important part within all the judges. He switched a little bit between the judges, so he was an interesting character to tell the story about the Tokyo trial. Why, please, and action! If you look at uh, Reuling, the Dutch judge, then he is, looks different. Oh, no, no, no. I'm much more impulsive, I think, than he is, than he was. He, he was a man who was thinking about every word which he was saying and he was really an intellectual. Rowling was a man who, uh, who, who loved very much the arts, he was very interested in music, very much in, in, into culture and he liked that very much. Marcel plays the violin and I play piano. Eta Schneider, she uh, really existed. She was a, a very well-known German concert pianist. I was doubting a little bit because I cannot play the piano. I'm not a piano player. So I was very nervous about that. There are some surprises also, so like <clears throat> uh, uh, the Canadian judge, uh, MacDougall, 
was in the script a little bit a, a flat character, not so very interesting. But then there came Stephen Maggetti. He looked as if he came from a, as if he was an old cowboy or an old hippie and so. But then he got dressed and he went in the makeup and he was a very special character. By the way he talked, the way he looked, uh, and the way he interpreted this rather normal man, he made him very special. I've heard Justice McDougall, just an all-round great guy. He was, he had this very deep voice and um, um, he, he was always concentrated. And sometimes when we had all the judges in the room joking and, and fooling around, that guy really stayed serious. And I, yeah, when he looked, when he had this look in his eyes, I kept a couple of feet away from him. <laughs> and it would have been similar again similar to the trial itself. You're bringing in all these rock star judges from all of their own countries, and we're bringing in all of these top-notch, A-grade caliber talent from all of their own countries who have all done their own research and have their own ideas and opinions about the trial, about their character, about the script, and this and that. We're not just actors that did their uh, role and were paid for that. They were personally uh, very much interested in what they were acting. <laughs> 